Yes, good morning, fellow landlords. A um, bit of mopping up to do today. Yes, and I'm on to the new loan, don't forget. So I've actually got a job and a task for you, Mr. Dixon, uh, which is to complete an asset and liability statement. Uh, I'll, I'll provide you the template to send through. I'm going to start mine now. Um, Derek needs it today. <clears throat> so if you can do it, um, and I've said there's at least half a million bucks worth of your assets overseas anyway. So um, all that stuff in Indonesia, you can put down at full freight. Um, um, and whatever here, you know, it could be smoke and mirrors as far as I, I'm concerned, it's an asset lend. Um, so whatever you've got, double it, triple it, <laughs> quadruple it, I'll be putting mine down. So, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, Steve McSween's got to do here, so I'll get on to him. Um, what else? Uh, name, what about FUJ Proprietary Limited? Fuck you, Jimmy. So I like that one, but I might make that one of our own private little companies, that one. Um, fudge. Old Fudge Proprietary Limited. I don't know how you, how do you pronounce that, F-U-J, Fudge. Anyway, <clears throat> on to uh, more pressing things. Um, asset and liability, uh, ASAP if I can, Mr. Dixon, and um, I'm pretty sure that, um, I, I'm just gonna chat with Mark about uh, Rainmaker <clears throat> and um, whether I'm just gonna give a guarantee and how that's gonna do it. Cause he's still the director. I don't know where you got to yesterday, Phil, with Hetherington, if you got yourself on as director yesterday, cause if you, if you did, you need to. If you didn't, I'm sorry, you need to um, ASAP as well. So just in case they want to search that, our biggest issue is if they search that whilst Mark's a director now, um, then we're going to have an issue with them Googling him and going backwards and that might be a big problem. <coughs> so um, as we know. So anyway, I'll just chat with Mark about that and how we want to do that. Um, but I'm actually trying to get out of it with, with, with Rainmaker not having to guarantee it, which would be perfect, but we get a better LVR if, if there's someone in there, a company that's got cash flow and of course we can show 100 plus thousand or whatever it's been in um, in the last in the last six months and because Peter Heverington's our accountant he would provide a state and um, supporting it so uh, and supporting our ability to pay you know any future interest requirements even though we're paying the 12 months up front or six months up front I think it is so um, <clears throat> anyway that's where we stand um, I didn't sleep much because I had a smile from me to ear most of the time. <laughs> um, um, we've got to speak to Roth. I, I just was chatting with Zoltan in general about a few things and I was saying, yeah, Nicole will be gone. And he said, oh, fuck, don't let it go without a release. And I said, yeah, no, we, we know that. We're just trying to work through the mechanics of how we do that. And he said, well, um, just say it's, it's you know, it can be a mutual release and um, if that's what we want, and um, you know, it covers everyone and here's your money and you can reject the application and say the money's sitting here in trust um for you know completion of the documentation which clean which includes a mutual release and indemnity now she's sitting there with a get out of jail free card uh, and the money back so i think she's probably going to take it because if she does and i don't know what uh, you know where she can go from there she can go nuts but zoltan said do not think that you know doing this will piss her off for good she's just a complete bitch and will definitely come back at you uh, and try to fuck you over and i said yeah i know that so he said make sure you get a release i said yep we know so anyway, we'll, um, we'll have that chat with Roth about the mechanics and is it, um, is it best to hold it all back or some back or just to say, here it is and here's the mutual release, uh, have it drafted, have it pretty, you know, hold harmless everyone, love you all, and, you know, never, never come back at you, this, that, the other. Well, that's only um, Steve and Tamate, uh, which we won't be directed in. So Steve's got to sign um, for Willamon Horizons. They'll probably... She'll probably make us sign it. So me, uh, Mark and Phil, um, but that then leaves everyone. I mean, even if it leaves <clears throat> only one person not covered by it, then there's the angle to go back and sue us. So, um, and then everyone else gets subpoenaed in under class action. So it's easy to get, get them all back in. So um, anyway, let's just have a, have a chat with Roth. He's away today and tomorrow I found out. So um, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to ask Gabby if I can just have a chat, if she can organise a chat with him on his mobile, because uh, it's sort of pretty important. But if he's going to have to draft the release, it's not going to happen until next week. So that means we go through the weekend with her still in the same position. Um, I guess we could always backdate the um, the rejection of the application as well to yesterday, for example. It was all contemporaneous. Uh, she just wasn't, she just didn't get it in the mail. And then we mail it to her and it arrives when it arrives. And it's like, well, that's the date, get fucked. So... Um, just my thoughts. Uh, what does everyone else think?